Hello guy, in this video I'm going to show you how to record Spotify in DJ Pro with the split cable. It's a little bit difficult, but uh, it's easy. Okay, so the first thing to do is to install Sunflower. I give you the link down below. And when you have done with that, we can go at the second step. Open the Spotlight and search for MIDI controller. Now we need to create a new multiple exit device. And then here there is the integrated exit and sunflower. I check the sunflower and then I change the name of this with split cable. Okay. Now it's really important this because you need to go into Sunflower and remove the second or the first channel. This depends on your computer and on your device, so you have to try. You need to do this because your computer put the pre queuing audio into the left or right channel. You need to know which channel is the main output and the pre queuing output. So you need to try. For example, I tried with the first channel, so I remove all the audio from the first channel. Okay, when we have done with this, we can go into DJ Pro. Okay, so now go into preferences and open devices. The main output you need to select your output for example this is the name of my combination exit so i choose this one and the procuring the split output by default because you have the split cable okay and now apply put some music into your disk for example i put this two and now open QuickTime Player. So I already have this here. And open new registration of audio. Great. Now select the Sunflower to channel and see what happened here. So leave it in the background and you need to know which channel is for the output so now I put all in the left channel the main output is on the left channel and if I see something here we are in the correct way so this is not the main output but this one so this is not uh, the correct channel, so I switch the channel, the two channels, okay, and now we will be able to see something here. So this in on the main output, and now we know that this is the main output, okay, great. So now we are ready to record our mix. And so we need to press the record button and record. So as you can see now, I start this one here. We shouldn't listen this. Okay, so if I switch here, the audio is not working. Okay, great. Now this is only a test, so we stop the music. So now we have our mix here on the desktop. If we open this test here, we listen only on the left or right channel, right side. So we need to put this from the stereo to mono. To convert the audio from stereo 
to mono channel we can use a bunch of software for example you can use logic pro adobe audition an online converter that i give you the link down below and audacity in this video i will show you how to convert from the stereo to mono channel into adobe audition okay now when we have opened the program we need to import our file so i take this file here and i put it into my program so you can see now that only the left channel is with a sound and in the right channel there is nothing so we need to put O into a mono channel to do it we can use a simple method convert type I think in English and choose channel mono and this is really important because you need to put the right mix zero for example this is the right mix and this is the left mix so we need to put zero this one here because we didn't use this but we need to put 100 percent the left mix okay and okay now we have an only mono Okay. Great, thanks for watching and sorry for my English. I know it's really bad, but subscribe for more if you want.